Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. This is a reference station video because we're going to be talking about power pole connectors, and that's going to be our reference connector. And this is also another COVID-19 stuck at home video that we can all enjoy together. And today we will attach power pole connectors to the power supply wiring of this radio that was sent to me to test. I'd like to introduce to you a sponsor of this episode of Ask Dave, and that is Toboa Energy. They have a fabulous deal on the Samlex SEC 1235M power supply, substantially less expensive than what you might pay at other places, and they are an authorized Samlex dealer. In fact, they have a complete line of a variety of uh, power converters and so on. They asked if they could sponsor one of these because uh, they knew that that uh, power supply that you see here is the reference station power supply and wanted people to know that it is available from them for this low price. So thank you very much to Taboa Energy. So we'll dive in to the power pole connectors. Now I might point out that power pole connectors are readily available from um, uh, companies like PowerWorks, where I get mine, um, and uh, yeah, they seem a little expensive at first glance, but uh, this bag that I got um, uh, will last a very long time. Uh, they are, uh, once used, they're used, uh, kind of hard to reuse, uh, so be careful with that. You can't just undo them. Uh, the other thing is, the thing that makes them very cool is they're sturdy and genderless. That means any two power pole connectors of the same amperage can be plugged in together. And this has become the standard throughout ham radio, especially for ARES, RACES, and other emergency auxiliary communications. My station is set up with them. And in fact, as part of our reference station, not only will we use power pole connectors, but also we will use a small power pole based DC distribution uh, system and I'll show you how that works in a future video. Let's get to building that cable. I'll bet you're chomping at the bit. Okay, we're going to put power pole connectors on the on the Anytone radio's power cord because it's just got connectors on there. Now I'm going to get out a white, a black, Do these little things. There. Need a little hard to find. Okay. Now, these will go into these like this just fine. Now, the problem is that it needs about that much room. See that right there? If you put it on like that, you won't be able to put the connector on. You need a little space like that. So what we're going to do is zoom down in here. Okay, and I'm going to, let's see, this is about number 14 wire. I'm going to just take a little extra insulation off of there. So that this will go. Yeah, I want a little bit more. If you don't leave enough room, you won't be able to push it into the housing. So is that about right? That's about right, right there. Now we need the crimp tool, and we want the one that says 30 amps, which is this hole right here. And we're going to crimp down on the surface that's split, which is this one. So we want this thing pointed down just slightly. And we're going to put it in there. Okay. And we want to keep that like that. 
and we're going to oops I'm gonna just let that go one notch so it's in the right place this takes about six hands and then you crimp the living daylight out of it the instructions say to give it a manly squeeze but I think any woman is capable of doing that okay now see we've got a little bit of space there and that's fine that makes it a lot easier now these things if you notice um, okay have got a little a little lip right there and we want this to go over that lip so we're going to push this in here and push it in until it snaps and the lip comes over that one where is it there there okay now the front of that connector popped in over the top of that lip so we got that one done let's do the other I want to take a little bit off it's 14 gauge wire I love this tool by the way We'll put this other one on here. Yep, not enough. So we'll just cut just a little bit more off. A little at a time. So this goes on there. See, and it leads a little bit out. We want that in that direction. Them lined up push that in there there it snapped so we got both of these in there they're tight and they go this way so we've got to put the black one on the red one these will go together wrong you want to make sure you've got these connected properly okay and then they go they fold they fold on to another but they can uh, come apart so the red on the left black on the right with the bottoms down now this little device which comes with it is a pin which goes in this hole right there and the reason for that is because then the two can't slip past each other now a lot of people don't do that they don't like these little things well I don't like them either they're a pain to deal with but it is part of the design so we will use a pair of pliers to hold it in the right place over the hole and then gently tap it with something that didn't work usually takes several tries for me to get this right there oh, indeed. Now this is ready to be plugged into power source. Well, it wasn't too bad. We put that together. Now we notice that this is uh, one of the few elements of the reference station that will require that you have some tools to do construction. In this case, you need the crimper. There are less expensive crimpers available. The one that I mention here uh, is the same one that came with my uh, coax uh, crimp-on connector. Now, the reference station coaxes, by the way, already come with connectors on them. So I'm trying to make the reference station very straightforward and something that you can do easily. And we're still rolling it out. Now, this is not yet a reference station uh, rig. It's a two-meter 
1.25 meter and 70 centimeter radio and uh, we'll look at it and as we look at some of these mobile radios we'll dig out the kind of attributes that we want in the uh, mobile station or in the uh, that we want in the reference station so what's this <laughs> I can toot my own horn go to uh, let's see dcastler.com slash support dcastler.com slash support to look at things like tip jars and uh, patreon there's a direct subscription method there's some amazon links where i get a little bit of a finder's fee if you purchase through them and you can also get the videos on thumb drives so i blew my own horn until we next meet 73